Klaus Grimm came to me and said, hey, do you want to get involved with Hammer and Nails? And I was like, Hammer and what? Yeah. I drove over to Sacramento, received an experience, and I walked out going, yeah, this, this, this is something here. So if you're someone thinking about buying or selling a home or is looking for more great information about all things Northern Nevada, by all means, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you'll be notified. We have great videos and content coming out every week. And just know that we're here to support you and get you the information you need to know what's really going on about the real estate market and all things Northern Nevada. Today, I'm gonna to introduce you to one of my really good friends who happens to be the owner of a new business and something that I don't think we've ever seen here in Northern Nevada before. So I want to introduce my friend Dias Dixon and the business that they're running that we're going to tell you all about today is called Hammer and Nail. So Dias, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me, MB. And so let's let people know, because I was joking about this the other day. Dias and I have known each other literally like we're pushing 40 years now. It sounds ridiculous because yeah, I know we look so young and handsome. <laughs> but what I tell people all the time is when we were in college that literally we, you, your friends, we had to cut each other's damn hair because there was nowhere to go get your hair cut, let's just be honest, if you didn't look like me. Exactly. And so we're joking exactly. about it now, so full circle all these years later, and you open up this great new business, and so I want people to know what Hammer and Nails actually is, and it is something I think is totally new to our area, so. 100%, it's, yeah. new, it's really new to Nevada, all in all. So Hammer and Nails is a, it's a barber spa concept. So it's a luxury grooming for men, and heavy majority of the people that come to our program are men. We, although we can take women as well, we just don't have the things that salons have that women are used to and accustomed to. So when you come in and you're getting a service from us, we're a membership-based organization, but you don't have to be a member. You can walk in and receive services. It's just to your benefit to have the membership because it makes your services a lot cheaper. Yeah. But our goal is from the minute you walk in the door, you're gonna get an experience. When you walk out, you're gonna be like, I'm 10 times better than when I walk through the door. Okay. So we've got barbers, cosmetologists, and nail techs. So we offer a number of services from pedicures to manicures in the back room, which are six large leather chairs. Each has its own 55-inch screen TV with Bose headphones. So you're sitting and watching the game or listening to what you want to listen to. Right. To our barbers who are doing straight razor shaves and our cosmetologists doing regular haircuts. I never even heard of Hammer Nails until you brought it up to me. And I'm guessing there are other parts of the country that have this. So what attracted you to this business model in the first place? Well, Hammer Nails has been around. It's a relatively young company. So about six years ago, five or six years ago, it was on Shark Tank and um, it didn't get purchased. But a good friend of mine, Klaus Grimm, went in after and purchased it from that guy who founded it okay. and added the, it was only hand and foot. Okay. So he added the barbering pieces. So when I was working at Common Spirit Health and I stepped out from that position, Klaus Grimm came to me and said, hey, would you want to get involved with Hammer and Nails? And I was like, Hammer and what? Yeah. <laughs> and so he said, you got to look at this concept that I'm working on. Right. I drove over to Sacramento, received an experience, and I walked out. It's the first time I'd ever had a manicure. I got a haircut and a manicure, and every haircut comes with a head massage and a, and a, and a shampoo. Right. So I walked out going, yeah. This, this, this is something here because women do a really good job and have done a really good job for decades and taking care of themselves and taking time out to do that. We as men, we don't do that. And you know closely how wrapped up I am in mental health and how 100%. important it is. Yeah. I looked at this as, this is a great outlet. This is something that we can bring to Reno. And when we started talking and the next thing you know, I ended up purchasing Nevada and Idaho as a particular regions, my wife and I. And we decided that we're going to have a heavy emphasis on giving back to nonprofits. Right. So I can't do anything without having that feeling. Well, no, because if anyone that, that doesn't know Diaz, that's been your jam for the last 20 years that we've lived here is always working with nonprofits. And I know Klaus, who has done lots of other franchises. So you had someone who's sort of an expert in doing the whole franchise thing, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. He's been yeah. a fantastic mentor because yeah. he owned Massage Envies. So he okay. totally understands the membership concept. He took a lot of the things that he didn't like about that particular concept right. and threw them all out so they don't exist here. And we're the 30th shop to open. Two have opened in the last couple of weeks in the country. So next year, there'll be about 65 open at this time. And in two years, there'll be a, probably about 400 open. And so right now we just have the one location here in Reno. One in Reno, one in Nevada. Okay. So this is the first one in, in, in all of Nevada. I want you to let people know where it is. Yep, it's in, in the Summit Mall in South Reno, right next door to Dillard's. And then we've got another one opening up at the end of April 
in Collin Ranch. If you go to the Hammer and Nails website, it's like a national website. You could pull up the local information yeah. and kind of go from there and find out some of those things. So I know you mentioned briefly, I realize the concept is mostly for men. I was going to ask you if women come in and if they do, what kind of things, I'm guessing manicures and pedicures, but are there other things there that are for women? They do. They can come in and get a haircut. Um, you know, we've got facials, but our facials are not what, they're not as extensive as you would like at a fancy as you would salon, right? exactly exactly and we have some couples that come in so we've got a full bar as well so when members come in they get a free pour it's really about pampering sort of like the modern day barbershop kind of action so that's why i call it the barber spa <laughs> yeah if you're someone out there thinking about buying a home in northern nevada but you're nervous and scared about pricing affordability and you're just not sure what's going on in the real estate market right now hit the link we have a free guide that gets you all the information you need so that you can feel comfortable about what's going on out there and you can make an appointment directly with me so we can talk to you about helping you feel good and comfortable about what's going on in the real estate market here in northern nevada as far as services go so basically we're talking haircuts manicures pedicures what do we have other stuff that that is offered there as well well there's a number of products that we have okay. so um and how we're membership based for example our classic membership is 88 bucks a month that which there's no obligation you're not stuck in that you can quit any second and it's done but the good thing about it is unlike netflix you can share it and at the same time you can, all your, your points stack up each and every month. So if you're out of the country for a month, what we've got going now is we have special events that happen. Okay. So we had a football viewing for, there was a particular game that was on the other day <laughs> where people came in and watched. Right. Um, we're, we're gonna have a number of tastings, whiskey tastings, different right. people coming in, that people can come in and sit and hang out. It's a, so is the bar area like really big? So, I mean, I think of hanging out in, a, let's say, a sports bar. It's like you can have one side hanging out doing one thing and a whole separate side doing something else. It's it's not huge, but it's it's enough. You know, we've got five chairs that pull up to the bar itself, and then there's a little lounge area. So there's never a lot of people congregating. Right. But typically people will come in early for their services. Or they might get a cut, get a beard trim up, and then out they go. And then plop, and they might plop down for a few minutes and then head out. So with the membership, so you're saying, so if, I, if I'm a member and mm -hmm. each month I get X amount of services, I can just basically say give it to my son or give it to a friend say hey you go in and use my services it doesn't matter my membership basically is just allowing me for this is what you get each month and whoever uses it you guys don't really care in some ways it's almost better if someone who's not a member does come in because maybe you can get them to join as well exactly so we have a number of people who are using it in their business and they're oh, giving right. it out to their clients so right. then they'll just say hey by the way i'm gonna give you this go on over there and they'll take care of you and they come walking right on in and get a service and as long as you know we've got the call ahead right brian right. lessinger right. authorized such and such because right. we can't just have every People time they can hear you running in and say hey I, you know <laughs> i know a guy who comes in i'm gonna go ahead and use his services <laughs> this month so the standard membership I think you said was $88. What kind of other options do people have besides that particular membership? Are there other options you can do? Oh yeah, there's yeah. three options. Okay. So we've got the $88, which is the classic membership. $189 a month gets you the VIP. So the classic membership has two services a month, two classic services okay. a month. We've got classic and premium. Like one of our pedicures is a jackhammer. So your, your feet are soaked in Jack Daniels whiskey. <laughs> Great. Before you start getting all your service, we have another sports pedicure, whether it's done with hot stones. Well, and then you work your way up to the VIP, which is three services a month with a free add-on. And then you've got the Lux, which is $5.49 a month, which is unlimited services. Oh, wow. So that somebody could be pretty much just roll in every day as far as that goes. We have a couple of Lux members that just kind of come in when they want. And they just kind of pop in and, and use it. The good thing about it is you can use it at other hammer and nails. So if right. you are traveling wherever you might be, you're in Florida or Ohio okay. or California, you can get on your app see a spot, go in and get your service taken. Wow, okay, very good there. And I know when we first were talking and you guys were in the process of trying to hire employees and things like that, how have you guys been doing? Are there still job opportunities and openings and what kind of things could people be looking for if they're looking to want to work in a hammer and nails? Well, with the new one opening up, we'll be hiring more for sure. Okay. Um, at our shop down south, we're full. Okay. You know, we, we, I was one thing I was really worried about. Yeah, what no, was I know that we talked about be, it. Yeah, yeah, but we've got a fantastic staff. We had a, a lot of people lined up to interview for the positions. Gotcha. So I'm guessing you can go to some of those people to see now that you're going to be opening up the new location as far as, hey, we've got spots available now. Is the second yeah. location going to be as big as the first? It's a little bit smaller, but it's a different layout. So every hammer and nails you go to has a slightly different layout. So Tommy, who is opening up that shop, a great guy, great guy, has done a fantastic job at designing it. Right. There's a couple things that he did in there and I'm looking going, oh, I wish I, I wish I knew. I wish I'd seen that. It'll look a little different, but it's going to be still the same vibe, all the okay. same colors, the same textures, with the vibe with the music playing. So, what kind of jobs would people like if they were looking? Because like obviously, people would probably tried to get a job at your first location and didn't. How would they reach out to you 
if they were looking for a job opportunity? Well, a number of the positions that are out there, first we have member concierge, which is like our front desk, kind of the quarterback, and making right. sure everything's all set up in the morning and things are up and going. They also know how to navigate through all the computer systems, so almost like an admin assistant okay. role. Well, then we've got barbers. We always have cosmetologists as well. And then we have some people that are dual crossovers. They might have a barber and a Cosmo license. A lot of the Cosmos can do hair and nails. And then we have a couple of people that are just nail techs because you might have someone who says, I want to work just part time. We will be expanding more than likely. I, I see us in the next probably eight months or so adding two more chairs. We've got room to, to okay. add two more chairs. And then they can find us on the website. You can Google Hammer and Nails yeah. Reno. The website's really just good. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's pretty easy to. To kind of and would that be where someone would go to if they wanted to book their reservations or that, or are they better off reaching out directly to the store? They can do both. You can do both. So they can, you can reach out through the website and actually book right there online. When you call, it's good to call though at times because then we can tell you exactly where we are because it can get a little tricky to you know where we're sitting in the summit. Right. Uh, and we've had a couple of people that were like, oh, they ended up in Colin. We're like, no, that was not open yet. Your appointment, <laughs> right. you know, we'll, we'll give you a few minutes to get on down here. Right, right. So what are some things that aren't so obvious on the website or things that people may not know. Because again, if I hear the term hammer and nails, I'm not exactly sure that I know, hey, that's a guy for guys to hang out, maybe get a drink and a cigar and a haircut. So so what would be some ways or something you might want people to know just about this place in general? And you're right, because if you only hear hammer and nails yeah, and you I don't, don't hear luxury grooming, you think you might be walking into a, a hardware store, <laughs> you know? But one of the things that it's, it's good to know about us that you won't see right off the bat is we've got gift cards. Okay. So that's always a great way to test drive and, and get it first, get a gift for someone. Because most of us have, a lot of us have things that we maybe don't need or because of Amazon, you can always order anything yeah, right, you want. So then it gets more and more difficult to buy gifts for men. This is a gift of relaxation. This is giving them something that is a little bit of escape. And it's um, almost like giving someone a, a trip to the massage, but it has a little bit more of a manly edge to it. Yeah, People but, don't know till they get in that they go, oh, I had no idea I would like a pedicure or that I would like a, a manicure. And when you try it, it'll it's, it's eye-opening. Well, it's funny because the first time I ever did it wasn't that long ago either. And it is kind of nice to do that. But it is funny because if you go to your typical, you know, manicure, pedicure place, let's be honest, it's usually some Asian gal that doesn't speak a lot of English or whatever the case may be. And it's always right. funny how they start doing it. And you just like, I just want the manicure, pedicure. I don't want colors or nails. Or, right. Which we oh, have none of that stuff. No, you're just like, I just want to do this. But it does, it actually is interesting if you've never tried it. Like you said, I think everybody at one point, if they can, should at least go give it a try. It is definitely a different sort of hampering kind of thing. And as you said, as gifts have gotten harder and harder to get, especially as we get older and most people just, if they need it, they just go buy it, order it, whatever. Right. It would be definitely an interesting experience for people to go and, and check the place out. So I appreciate you coming on. I'm glad we got a chance to talk about this place. Yeah. I definitely need to, uh, to get in there and, and check it you out do. A closer. Well, I did obviously research and you and I have been talking about this long before it ever opened. So I'm glad that it is going well and been successful. And uh, hopefully it will just keep going on that way. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, thanks for all the love. If you're someone thinking about buying or selling a home here in Northern Nevada or someone thinking about moving here, click the video, check it out. We've got lots of great information for you.